Hello, welcome to Lesson 17, Mastering Java. Here we're going to learn how to manipulate a string and change all of the letters from lowercase to uppercase or from uppercase to lowercase. Not something you do every day, but occasionally when you're manipulating input from a user, you'll need to do that. These uh, methods that we'll talk about here will show you how to set that up. So let's first create a string. Um, and I'll just call this string input one, just pretending it's some kind of user input. And I'm going to accidentally leave on my caps lock because that happens a lot, you know. And I'll say, uh, I really love this restaurant. Right, so this is like a review or something that I leave on a website or online or whatever. And I don't realize it at the time, but I accidentally left this in, in capitals. Now, of course, I can print this to the screen. I mean, that's easy for me to do. I can say system.out.println, right? And I can say input one. Of course, I can do that. Um, but what happens is this is really annoying to keep in all caps. If you're running some kind of website or writing a program to accept user input and then you're going to print this all caps, it's just annoying. Maybe that would be nice to have an automated way to change this whole thing to lowercase. Now I could write a subroutine to do that. I would go through and look at every one of these things and replace every letter with a lowercase version. But fortunately we actually have that um, already baked into Java. So let's go system dot out dot print ln and inside of here all I have to do is type input one that's the name of my string that I have and I'll hit a period to to reach a listing of all of the methods uh, and so forth and the name of the method is called two lower case and you can actually see it up at the top of the screen here so I can double click uh, here because it's actually two lower case the L and the C are capitalized there so I'll double click that that's the name of the method and there's nothing else to actually put, there's nothing else to pass to this method because it knows that it's operating on the string right here. So then I can go ahead and type a semicolon. Now, whenever I invoke this method, what it does is it goes into the string, it rips through every element of that string, so I don't have to deal with how long of a loop to build or anything. It, it goes through every element here, and then it basically changes every single character to a lower case. And this method returns a string back. And since this thing is sitting inside of a print statement, all that's going to happen is I'm going to print that string to the screen. And you can see right here, I really love this restaurant. All right. Now, similarly, I can have string input two where maybe I have some regular input, uh, I also love to go on vacation, right? So this is a string that is all in lowercase. What if for some crazy reason I wanted to make it uppercase? Well, I could easily do that. I could say system.out.println. In this case, I would go input two and access the list of methods associated with the string object. The name of that method is called two uppercase. And I see it right here. I'll just double click it. And again, there's no arguments for it because this method just simply operates on the string that's calling it or that string that's associated with it. And so whenever I print this out, this should be converted to uppercase, which I also see right here. So these methods here, the two uppercase and the two lowercase, they're not, they're not rocket science brain surgery. It's not like you're going to use them all the time. But occasionally it is important to take text input if you detect that it's in all caps and to automatically make it lowercase. One example might be uh, for a password. If your password for your system, if you're, if you're writing a, a program to check the password, then one way to do that just to avoid any problems would be to take the user input and change it all to lowercase and then compare it to what the password is. Uh, this is assuming your password doesn't allow mixed upper and lower cases. But in any case, flattening or forcing the, ca the, the characters to all be one case is important a lot of times before you do comparisons. Uh, between two strings. Uh, and so that's that's one one reason why in which you might want to do that. Um, so make sure you understand this. Go off to the exercise. I actually have something similar for you to do. Give you practice with it uh, in the context of a password type of situation. It's not 100% realistic, but it gives you the idea of why you might use this. So go off and try that now and then continue with me in Mastering Java.